Hello. One more Christmas <laughs> tree yoga class. So let's try to be more conscious, more grounded, more connected to your body and more focused with your brain. So sitting position, your comfortable sitting position. Relax your neck, drop your shoulders down, but keep your chest open. Close your eyes, just breathe your natural breath. Nothing special. Just listen to your natural statement. What do you feel right now? Some physical discomfort maybe. You feel pressure from the floor. You feel your chest movement. Listen to the sound of your breath. Try to be right now and right here in your own safe place along with your body, keep breathing, feel this moment, right now and right here. And gently, occasionally, start to move. Gently open your eyes, start to move your head, circle your neck from one direction and rotate your head the other direction. And reach your arms up and very gently start to sway from side to side. Touch the floor with one hand, touch the floor with the other hand. You are really flexible and nice. Tree branch in under the end motion. Exhale when you go down. Exhale, relax and be softer. Take your time. Do it with your own tempo. Follow your personal breath. Nice. Press your palms behind you. Push your heart up. Drop your head back. Open your throat, open your mouth. Exhale. Try to stretch your belly. And hug and kiss your knee. Exhale. And now hug and kiss your other knee. Round your back. Exhale. And fold forward. Drop your head on the floor. Relax completely. Feel your back, feel your hips. Cool. And come to table position. Natural, comfortable tabletop position. Head movement with your spine around and arch your back. Keep doing that. More consciously connect your breast to your movement. Inhale, head up and tail up. Exhale, chin to the chest or around your back. Keep moving, keep breathing. You just follow your natural breath. Cool. Extend your left leg. Tuck your toes and push your heel back. You feel your calf. And just play with your heel. Move your heel forward and back. You press your toes, and when you move your heel back, you feel your calf stretching. If you need more power, so you can lift your right knee off the floor and keep working with your left foot a little bit more. Kind of lazy down dog. Cool. And change your leg, other one. Toes on the floor, and you just move your hip back and forward. And you try to 
try to press massage your toes and you try to stretch your calf. And maybe no other knee support. Keep breathing, keep working on your own level. And down facing dog. Playful, comfortable dog. Move both your heels up and down, one by one. Bend and straighten your knees. Relax your neck. Let your head hang down. Walk forward. Fold forward. Relax your back and your neck. Release any tension from your arms, from your head and neck. And stand up like a waterfall with round your back. It's kind of monkey style. Move your shoulders back and down. And slowly reach up, stretch all your body up. And again, side bends. So this time a little bit deeper. You move your pelvis from side to side to opposite side of your arms. You always keep breathing. You never hold your breath. Just exhale and exhale. Relax your shoulders, shake your hands, shake your feet, stay on one leg and just shake your foot. And other one, the same way, release any tension. And let's play a little bit here. Deeply inhale, reach up and fold forward. Relax your neck. Play with your Uttanasana. Try to elongate your spine a little bit more. Your feet are very grounded on the floor, but your upper body very soft and long. Exhale. Hands on the floor. Right foot step back. Bend your front knee. Shake your pelvis up and down. Left arm up, big circle with your arm. Rotate your shoulder up the direction. Nice. Hands on the floor. Step back to down facing dog. Again, play with your dog. Move your tail from side to side. And come to deep child pose. Elbows on the floor, relax completely. Take your time, stay grounded, stay present, and again. Table top, head movement, fix your spine. Down facing dog, raise your legs. Walk forward with your hands. Try to bend your hips a little bit more. Try to press your baby to your thighs and stand up slowly, gently. Reach up. Get your arms are fine now. Move your shoulders down. Don't move your shoulders towards your ears. Release arms up, but shoulders down. Move your arms back, chin forward. Try to open your rib cage a little bit more. And fold forward again. One more Uttanasana. Try to bring your nose between your legs. Make it comfortable to yourself. Slightly bend your knees. Exhale. Relax your neck. Hands on the floor. Your left foot step back. Shake your pelvis up and down. And play with your right arm. 
just rotate your arm in both directions. Drop your pelvis down. Don't stay like this. You want to open your hip more. And hand support down facing dog. Nice and comfortable dog. This time, try to bring your heels a little bit closer to the ground. Lift your tail up. Maybe play with your pelvis. Try to lift your tail up. Create flat back. And then through toe massage. Lift your heels up. Move your heels forward. Massage all your toes and come to child pose. Exhale. Long exhalation. Find your normal breath. And come back to tabletop. Down dog. And one more time. Stand up. So this way you train your head. The veins and arteries with blood coming down and coming up. So your brain get very healthy nourishment. Blood comes oxygen to your brain. One more time, reach up, shoulders down, arms back, chin forward, and find your grounded, very stable yogi position. Tadasana. Your chest is open, your feet symmetrically on the floor. Create gentle root lock. Breathe normally. And let's play a little bit more with standing poses. So, very famous, but it can be kind of dangerous. <laughs> warrior, warrior one. So let's find healthy way how to do it. So, gentle step back, your back foot in 49 degrees, approximately to your front foot, and bend your front knee. What is important? Your knee, not the forward of your heel, not back of your heel, your knee above your heel. So, very vertical shin position. Now, pelvis. So, your pelvis and your chest are looking forward. Don't try to twist yourself. You're still looking forward. You don't move your pelvis. You keep your back square. Try to lift your front toes and relax your shoulders. So, your upper body is free. Reach your arms up and forward, not up and back, but up and forward. You look in front of you, you're very stable physically. You see your goal, maybe think about your real goal in your life. You know how to reach there. You have power to do it. So hold the posture, breathe. Exhale, shoulders down, long and free neck. Don't create back bend in your lower back. Strong legs. Keep pushing your right hip back. Exhale. And very gently. Hand support on the floor. Play with your front foot. Just bend and straighten your knee. Work with it. Bend your knee again. And step your hands in front of you. Turn both feet symmetrically. Big open triangle. Drop your head down. Shake your pelvis. Don't look at me. 
Relax your neck. Just stay in this position. Try to play a cat movement from this posture. Round and arch your back. Exactly what you did in the table top, but with this a little bit difficult posture. And no hand support. You use just your strong legs. Play with it. Feel the power of your legs and push yourself up. Reach up. Release tension. And turn your other foot 90 degrees. Adjust your back foot 45 degrees. Bend your front knee. And you just create warrior on other side. So pelvis, you turn your pelvis looking on your front knee. Adjust your position, step forward, back, find your comfortable pose. Your front knee above your heel, relax your shoulders and your neck. Strong legs, strong root lock, but pretty free arms. And then you can reach your arms forward and up. Don't reach your shoulders up. Drop your shoulders down, long neck, pretty straight spine. And again, see your goal in front of you. No way how you do it. You know your own way how to reach that goal. You're strong, physically grounded. Turn your pelvis a little bit more forward. Be sure that you can control your body. You keep breathing. On the way to your goal, you keep breathing. Very gently, fold forward, hand support, and just play with your front knee. A few times, bend and straighten your knee. And walk your hands, turn yourself to central symmetrical position. Head movement with your back. And maybe hands down. Hands down. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. Play with your knees. Try to bend and straighten your knees one by one, both together. And no hand support. Strong legs. Feel it. Play with it and push yourself up, reach up, exhale, shoulders down, and release tension. Very carefully, symmetrically, bring your feet together, hips, heels, toes, and really relax your feet. So one more time, just shake one of your foot, Another of your feet, let it go. Take your time, Tadasana. Listen to your body, find your normal breath. Listen to your heartbeat. Through. Nice and gentle vinyasa, let's sit down. Arms up, shoulders down. Very slowly, bend your knees, sit like a dirt. Then, put your knees on the floor, stay on your knees, point your toes and sit. Diamond pose. Relax your neck, be careful. Now, the same way, stand up. Maybe imagine that you hold bowl with hot water. With cold, cold water above your head. And you don't want to drop that water on yourself. So, stand your knees, tuck your toes. 
the orthodox position, try to do it symmetrically. Maybe play on this point a little bit longer. Knees on the floor, knees off the floor. It's about balance. It's about your body control. And from the orthodox position, don't change your back movement. Don't try to slouch. Just push yourself up, 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 heels up. Let go. Reach up, fold forward. Next. Relax your neck, relax your back. And up. And slowly, one more time, same way. Arms up, shoulders down. Bend your knees. Knees on the floor. Stay on your knees. Point your toes, feet. Cool. And let's work more with your hips. So take your hand support and just move your hips from side to side. One side of your feet, other side of your feet. You want to touch the floor. Maybe you can do it without hands, without arms. Keep breathing and relax your shoulders. It's just leg work and root lock work. Nothing else. Gentle way to your spine from side to side. Cool. Hand support behind you and just straighten your legs. Shake down. There you go. And let's work a little bit more with hamstrings, shins, hips today. But first of all, create healthy seated position. So it's not like this to be grounded back on your buttocks. You roll your pelvis forward, you lean forward more. You help yourself to bring your soft material outside. Stay more grounded, more comfortable. Your heels, you use them like support. You try to stay on your heels. So this is healthy sitting position. And it's all about your hip joints. So roll your pelvis forward. Cool. And let's go. Grab your big toe with your pistons. Your knee inside, your arm outside. And you just bend and straighten your knee a few times. Maybe hold it a little bit longer. Maybe bend your knee, let's keep it bent. But shoulders down, keep breathing, relax. Cool. And grab your foot with both hands. Try to kiss your foot. But shoulders down again, long neck. Move your foot all directions, up and down, touch your head, touch your belly. Try to straighten your leg. Try to move your knee from side to side. And place your foot in front of you. Your soul close to your inner thigh. Adjust your position. Nice. Hug your knee and kiss your knee. And turn yourself to your other leg, hug and kiss your other knee. Exhale. Slowly speak up. Big open triangle. Shake your knees. Again, roll your pelvis forward. Long and flat back, free shoulders. Cool. And grab your other foot. So you just work with your knee joint, but you feel your hamstring, you feel your calf, you feel your long arm stretching, breathe. You listen to the sound of your knee, it's crazy. <laughs> and grab your foot with both hands, try to kiss your foot, try to touch your head. Try to touch your belly with your hip, shoulders down, long neck. 
and move your leg all directions from side to side up and down to right to touch your baby <laughs> place your foot on the floor in front of you adjust your position and kiss your baby and then kiss your long leg And up, big open triangle, adjust your pose, lean forward more, maybe keep your knees slightly bent, but your back, your back is flat, your spine straight, and try to stay, maybe on your elbows, maybe that's enough. For today, relax your neck, keep breathing, and exhale. Close your eyes, breathe deeply. And a little bit, move your arms forward and lean down a little bit more. And exhale. So just stay where you are, just listen to your body, try to relax, you try to release tension inside. Exhale. Very slowly, step your arms, step your hands back to yourself, press your palms behind you, push your heart up. Drop your head back, very open chest, big stretch, baby, exhale. And symmetrically bring your legs together through this nice shape. Sit together. Adjust your position again. It's all about healthy way to sit. Roll your pelvis forward. It's kind of cat movement. Try to lift your tail up. And press your heels to the floor more. You will shift your weight forward. And try to place your baby to your thighs. Relax your neck and just stay where you are. So just find your maximum. Don't try to break your body. Close your eyes again. Exhale. And listen to yourself. This is your personal practice with discomfort, with pain. How you can deal with it? Usually through your deep exhalation. You always can help your body feel better. In the same way, you can go deeper if you follow your breath. And release your inner tension. Very slowly. Breathe up. Relax your shoulders. And no hands to walk forward with your hips. You just step your seat bones one by one forward. Nice. Hug your knees, hug yourself. Grab your knees and rock yourself. Pull up and up. Easy, lazy, comfortable. Don't think what you look like. It doesn't have to be nice, it has to be comfortable. So relax, do it very playfully, very, very. <laughs> no stress. Sit up, relax your neck, relax your back. Listen to your heartbeat. And you always try to keep your neck long, so top of your head goes up. Shoulders down. Cool. 
and slowly lay down, hug your knees in front of your chest, rest your lower back to the floor. Lift your arms and your legs up and shake it out. Nice, deep. Shake to your feet, your hands, and to all your body. <laughs> Arms over your head, relax. Feet up, heels out. Your legs slowly start to move your legs down. Keep your root block engaged. Keep breathing. You always keep breathing. So you work with your abdominal muscles, but you can breathe. You just move your legs down slowly. Relax your arms and your face. Again, breathe in, breathe out. You slowly, slowly move your legs down. And maybe hold it a little bit off the floor. Inhale, exhale, scissor movement, and let it go. Relax completely. Listen to your heartbeat. Find your normal breath. And very gentle back bend for your spine. So I will show you a few, few variations and you will choose your level. Don't try to jump over your healthy level. There is no competition. It has to be healthy first of all. So keep on the floor, bend your knees, hands, arms on the floor. Lift your pelvis up. Maybe you can grab your ankles and hold it. Maybe not. So just keep your hands on the ground. Step your shoulders to each other. You want to push your heart up. Relax your belly and try to stretch your belly more. Maybe you can put your palms under your pelvis. You just stay on your elbows, relax your belly more. Play with your belly, move it in and out. And release tension very slowly. Lay down, hug your knees and up to your chest. Keep your nose in between your knees. Rock yourself from side to side. And one more time, lift your arms and your legs up and shake it out. Cool. Grab your feet. Bend your knees. And just play with your legs. Make it comfortable. It doesn't have to be nice. It has to be comfortable. So try to open big triangle. Play with your legs one by one. Bend and stretch them. Try to bring your knees closer to the floor. And Try to roll yourself on one side, feet together, relax. Keep holding your feet, but long, free arms set on the floor. And again, slow your back. You roll yourself on the other side. Same way, relax in the final position. Then your feet together. So, you know, keep doing that. Try to do it smoothly. Try not to hold your breath. You just rock yourself a few times more from side to side. This is good back massage. This is very deep hip joint opening. 
And again, try to do it smoothly. Try to control each of your movements. Okay, last time. Roll it over on your side. Exhale. And keep your feet up to the sky. And shake it out one more time. Cool. Feet on the floor, bend your knees, very comfortable. Healthy position to your lower back. And it calls Tibetan massage. Very deep, easy, and healthy way to touch all your internal organs. So, a little bit, lift your pelvis up on the floor and drop it down. Don't lay it down slowly. You really like it's one, two inches off the floor and drop it down. So you feel this deep shake in your belly. And actually it really helps to prevent any stuck process in your intestine, liver, reproductive organs. Just keep them alive. One more time. Curve your knees. You all the time fix your back position and just bending your knees. This is asana called apanasana, which is wind relief. <laughs> so if you're at your home, so okay, don't limit yourself. If you are in front of other people, so just know that this is way how to work with your intestine and create nice and most comfortable position for your body and to relax. So slightly tuck your chin to the chest, take a long neck, open your arms up to the sky. Relax your legs. Place your face. Any funny faces. And relax and take it in. So, Shavasana, most difficult asana in yoga. What you try to do in Shavasana? Very, very free and comfortable body. And you try to control your brain. You try to keep your attention. You try to keep your focus in control. Watch your breath. Try to breathe with your belly. Watch your belly movement. And don't let your mind run away. All the time, come back to your point. And just follow your breath. A little bit of ease, your belly movement. Inhale, belly out. Exhale, belly in body. Diaphragm in body. Keep breathing like this. And try to do it at least for one minute. This is a mind. Brain exercise. Try to keep your mind in control at least for one minute. Shavasana.
hands slowly. Move your arms on the forehead. Stretch out your body. Stretch your legs and your feet. Ah, good morning. Hug your knees, open your knees widely, rock yourself from side to side. One more time, touch all the back muscles. And slowly, slowly start. Find your own way to sit up. Comfortable sitting position, but with the same principle of your pelvis. Roll your pelvis forward. You keep your back flat, straight. Your neck. Gentle block. Natural rest. Inhale and breathe and exhale. Down, little bit over your arms, little bit side. Sit down. Diffuse this moment. Very good. Very grounded. Your mind is calm. Your body and mind calm with each other. So just remember this. Statement. You can come back to this condition anytime you need, anytime you want. Remember how you breathe right now. Remember what you feel. This inner silence. You always find and find your inner silence. So use it in your life when you upset. Frustrated, just come back to this inner peaceful statement. Nothing can disturb you. Press your hands to each other, look at your hands, say thank you to somebody in your life. Some person. Imagine the face on her face. Let's say thank you. Deeply inhale, exhale, relax. And thank you for taking care of your body, taking care of your life to do this practice with me. Namaste. to see you next time. Bye-bye.